Yeah. Should we jump into uh, NextCloud dashboard here? Yeah. This week, believe it or not, title aside, I will be going over NextCloud dashboard, basically the hub. Essentially the hub. So go, in, go into the history about this it, really, really quick. So I think it was 20.0 that it was released. I think you'd know more about the history than I would. I think you'd have to cover this history. Um, I know it was released 20.0 as just kind of like a, a beta. Does that sound right? And then 21, it really came out as, hey, this is the default here. And with the default, basically you were able to get this dashboard when you log in. It's it, Rather than dropping you right to your files... It may, it's this pretty way now to show basically a snap. I call it a snapshot of everything digital in your life. Basically, with a dashboard, you get all these widgets. Essentially, it, at twenty one, you get all these widgets. So, being when you log in, you're not being dumped to files. Yeah, managing. I call it managing your digital life. Digital. It gives you a little snapshot of your day, kind of like what we wanted to do with Portal. Similar to that, it's basically, I would call it similar to that in the sense that you've got all these integrations and widgets now that you can Mm -hmm. integrate and talk with, and basically you can configure them. So on your NextCloud login, you're seeing not just NextCloud updates, but updates to external services, you know, GitLab, GitHub, Twitter, Reddit, Mail, Calendar, and they had reports out there, which you can just really get really pretty fancy with. Um, but I like that kind of navigating your digital life example. It made the most sense to me uh, with it. So like, yeah, cause what, what's, what's the dashboard for? Like what's, what is this? Like it was, is so instead of coming at it, I think next. Yeah. Yeah. So, and I think that's where I kind of want to go instead of being dropped here. This is kind of the big sell I saw from dashboard is instead of being dropped, Instead of logging in the drop, uh, instead of logging in the next cloud and kind of seeing it as, hey, here are all the files, you know, similar to like a Dropbox type thing. This is now next cloud's trying to say, hey, we do more than just files. You're not just going to log in here for files. You're going to log in here for kind of getting an overview. And I think they've done a really good job. I think they've done a great job with adding all the app integrations. Now, don't get me wrong. I think using mail and cap and contacts as their own separate applications. I, I do love my Thunderbird um, are more suitable. Nextcloud does provide the ability to, you know, manage multiple mailboxes and, you know, have, a, you have your calendar right there. And, you know, you also have all your contacts right there and you have them in the cloud. You have them in the cloud on, on a server. They're out there. You don't have to worry about, Hey, what happens if my house floods and, you know, my laptop with all everything, every, my digital life just gets washed. It's like, you don't have to worry about that if it's in a data center somewhere, unless it's in Germany, wherever that data center burnt down. Oh, OBH. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> in Europe. Um, yeah, no, we don't, we don't maintain our instances there. No, but I really think it's next cloud's push to go, Hey, we do more than just files. We're doing everything digital so as i was kind of saying you can customize your dashboard to add really all kinds of widgets to the front um the ones i integrated with and the integrations are actually awesome they're pretty slick um i added github notifications GitLab to do's reddit news twitter notifications you can add a twitter home um, I'm trying to think there was one more. So if you add apps, certain apps get certain widgets with them that you can customize and enable. So context, calendar, and mail were ones that you could add widgets for. But I'll tell you what, getting set up with the widgets and just enabling them was a breeze. It was easy. Now, the two ones I had trouble with were, um, let's see here, GitLab and GitHub. Basically, you need to create a personal access token uh, for the API to be able to read um, your to-dos. And I think it was GitHub was the any notifications you have on your account. But everything else, I have a picture in the documentation. 
essentially your browser pops up this little like a pop-up bar if you're familiar with those if everyone's familiar with those and it says hey would you like to allow authentication with would you like to allow nextcloud authentication with this app and so twitter and reddit and i think it was one more were as easy as you know allow this to contact reddit and log me in through my reddit account so basically what i did was you just hit allow it redirects you to reddit and reddit goes reddit gives you an auth page and it says hey would you like to allow your nextcloud instance to be able to read and i you know of course yeah i want i was setting this up anyway and it sets it up and it just gives you your home news right there so it's pretty sweet i thought it was awesome especially for that easy integration versus going out and I don't know about you going out and creating personal access tokens for every single app that I authenticate with it. It takes time. It does take time. And you think with at least GitHub being how I'll just call it corporate. It is just how like, you know, they, I think they have authenticate with GitHub. Um, I see it all over the place. Um, You'd think they'd have some kind of allow authentication just one click like hey let me authenticate with this really easy but unfortunately they make you go in and create the personal access token to get that read access for it so, mm, okay but it's pretty cool um i'll tell you what if canboard had one of those it would be awesome it if it gave so it has jira integration already i don't know if you saw that i think it has tasks out there if i'm not mistaken that would be pretty slick if they had a can board like uh just kind of show a quick board view or just or just my front page yeah my front page dashboard yeah i'm sure it can be done they're both written (laughs) both written in php (laughs) crack out your uh php if you want to write one (laughs) right still customization for it (laughs) You know, I would if I wasn't so deep into Ruby. Oh, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> um, but yeah, actually, that the ad integration or ad application, like that authentication, blew my mind. So I'm so used to going in and creating third party access tokens. I know I've this isn't even like the main feature of dashboard. This is just like something I found really cool, but I think that's OAuth. I'm pretty sure that's OAuth that it's using. Mm-hmm. I, I, because... I'm going to have to look into it more. I don't know why GitHub wouldn't allow or why the integration with GitHub was that difficult then. I don't know or why they make, why would they would make you go in know. and, but I know like one of the things for, for Twitch, right? If I'm logged into my Twitch account and one of the streamers I follow has a song request list, right? That's hosted on a third party server. I will follow the link in chat for the song request list and it'll bump me over there and it'll say, all right, only authenticated users can request songs, right? Sure. So it says log in with Twitch and I click that. It sees the cookie and it's like, it would like, like to know this gotcha. about your Twitch account. And I'm like, yes. Do that, Allow, and it, yeah. Pulls it, and then yeah. and then from that third party site, when I request a song in the Twitch chat for the streamer, it'll pop up. You know, Andrew requested whatever song. Yeah. So yeah, no that that OAuth two is is being used all over the place, and it's super convenient specifically for Everywhere. that reason. Yeah, yeah. Um, what's crazy is you, I, I you know I always think of OAuth being provided by a massive provider. I don't think of and you don't think of, you know, ncdemo.rcompose.com making a pull out and being and saying to Reddit or what you know, all these different services, hey, can I log if I log in as this user, can I read this? And it's just very e it's very easy. It's Reddit's just like, Hey, did you want to give access to this one site? And it's like, I actually did. That was me. Yeah. Next thing you know, you've got, you know, You've got it. So, but other than that, I don't have much much else on dashboard. Really, just the uh, 
quick overview there on, you know, customizing it, adding, adding all the widgets, um, adding, when you add certain applications, you get the, the ability to add the widgets with them. And then, you know, the OAuth integration with it or making you sign in to GitLab user 2FA and that's like create personal token. So, um, that's everything. That's really very quick. Actually, that's, it sounds like it's going to be a really good, uh, integration session. Yeah. On, on the YouTube page. So, um, I will, I will most definitely be putting a video out on that. Probably looking into a couple of those widgets, seeing if there's anything else. I know we went through a couple of apps, uh, previously, uh, did you see if any of those had different widgets, or did you do you do any kind of? So deep I didn't dive check any. Kind of see what? Okay, I I didn't check third party. Um, the main ones were the ones that were just came supported by Nextcloud, really, that were applications. So I, I already touched on them: contacts, calendar, mail. Mm-hmm. Those have pretty neat widgets. Um, yeah, I mean, it's, really, it's just it's an inbox nice. view, an yeah. account, you know, calendar. It's kind of what you could expect from a calendar view. It gives you just a snapshot of the day basically it's like tw- you know 12 to 12 i wonder if you could well yeah that would probably work on shared calendars too so like if someone was there and i shared mine with you or you with me and then you could see my calendar yeah that'd be pretty cool but i did not check third party uh, any of the other third party applications um i couldn't imagine how I, like, a, a hash an epub <laughs> right or an epub reader it's gonna do pop open a book for you i, I don't know man <laughs> um i you think there was one your books directory uh, there was one you could you, you could uh there was one i think built in uh it was read files you know it showed a list of recently touched files which it's there and i'm i'm not I'm not gonna I'm not the biggest proponent of looking at recent files, but it, it's there. It's there if you need it. There if you want sure. it. Sure, sure. That's it. That's everything I had. It was a quick one. It was a very quick one. Um, okay. I'd recommend. You know, I. It comes in. It's built in by default. I'd recommend checking it out for anyone that hasn't. Well, um, you will check it out by default because it's the first thing you're going to see. Yeah. You, anymore. You're right. Next cloud. Yeah. Yeah. Because we currently do run 20 and it is by default there it's there at yeah. least the twi- latest 20 version so that is that is currently uh on by default so the hub yeah yeah i think it's so i think it's interesting i, I want to see i want to see what widgets can go now if, if we get a cam band cam board one i will absolutely that will be my home page like done done easy so i don't know what do you think about the uh landing into that I'll call it a widget, that hub instead of landing into files. You like well, it, dislike it, it? It illustrates the trajectory that Nextcloud is following. It started right. out as a Dropbox alternative. So obviously the first thing you're going to do is deal Get with files. files. Right. Yeah. What it has evolved into is a G Suite alternative or, you know, a, a Yahoo alternative where you log in, you have your context calendar, um, all your, your daily stuff, all your links, your news, your that is supposed to be your hub. So if, if NextCloud has gone from a Dropbox replacement to a G Suite replacement, it only makes sense this is that the way they get- it starts... Yeah, it, 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 they transition from having the default view as the files and transition it to having the default view as a dashboard. That's, I mean, I, I'm totally yeah. behind them. I mean, obviously, there's there's always going to be trade-offs, but if this is the way they feel like they need to push the product, I am I don't have any arguments. Behind. Yeah. 